All right, what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at uh, measuring, uh, analyzing combustion gases. Uh, we'll be able to tell uh, our steady state efficiency. We'll be able to tell, tell our excess air, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, um, our O2, our carbon monoxide minus free air. So we're going to look at how to read all these values um, on our sheets here, or using our Insight. This is the back rack insight. There's my fuel. So I'm going to go to fuel. I'm going to hit number two. So we're burning number two. Uh, you can see we got stars here. It won't read anything. Uh, I'm going to hit run. Uh, I'm running. I get my oxygen at 20.9, but I'm not going to see anything else until I put my uh, my sensor, my my uh, probe into the flue gas. Uh, it has to, the oxygen level has to get below 16 before this thing will pick up on anything. So right now it's just measuring the ambient air. Here's the other end. It's open here. This thing has a pump in it. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna stick it over here for now. We'll come back to it and get some readings. I'm gonna take my, my probe. It has a piece on here so you don't go too far. I wanna try to keep this out of the smoke and soot. If there's any soot or, or debris on the smoke pipe, you don't wanna go the whole way to the other side. We're going to insert this into my smoke pipe, and uh, we're going to then look at our numbers then. So right now, we have it inserted into the smoke pipe, we're running, and we're waiting for my oxygen starting to drop. Now we're going to look at, again, here's my O2. My CO, which is carbon monoxide, but that's the carbon monoxide with the excess air involved. My efficiency, my CO2. I have my uh, stack temperature, and I have my uh, temperature of the air coming in. So we're going to look at these different values, record these values, and then later on in another video, we'll go over your parameters for oil and gas, which you should have. But we can take a look at this and. Uh, So we're at 15.1% O2, which is, uh, that's a pretty high number. Um, now I know there's something wrong. We shouldn't be at 15% on our O2. We should be, you know, 10%, somewhere in that region, 10%, 12%. Uh, you can see here, I'm only getting an efficiency of 71%. Now, once I'm done here, I can actually hit hold, and now I can pull my probe out and let that sit and I don't have to keep my uh, running my unit these numbers are frozen on here um, I'm getting a number of 14.9 which is a little high in my oxygen and there's, there's some parameter sheets you can get but you can also tell just by looking at this that this the efficiency is only my SSE my steady state efficiency which is the on cycle loss is only coming up at 71.8 percent that's not good for a oil-fired furnace of this age. Um, a modern oil-fired furnace should be somewhere between 82 to 85 percent on the steady state efficiency. Those are typical firing for a oil-fired, a modern oil-fired furnace. Uh, so our SSE is kind of low. Um, this 14.9 tells me we've got a lot of oxygen coming into our unit. Um, we go down here and we look, we can look at this EA, and my EA is saying 231.7% of excess air. That is a lot of excess air. Um, so that excess air is way high. It needs to come down. How can I change my excess air? I can change it with my excess air dampers. Uh, and we should have done that. You do that with your smoke. I was in the other video with the smoke where you're gonna wanna close them all you see a trace of smoke and then you open it up your fine air up just to let smoke just goes away and then you start working from there so we didn't do that that was in the other video but just by looking at these numbers I know I'm getting too much excess air and I'm gonna have to go back and do my smoke test again close off my air dampers until I get that little bit of smoke we want to see a little bit of smoke at first and then we want to open our air dampers or fine air adjust adjustment to let smoke just disappears you want to get that excess air way down. That excess air is way hot. 80, 
uh, percent, 70 percent excess air. Those are some good numbers, not 200. Uh, the COO is telling me 40 parts per million. That's a good burn. So what that that COO is saying, um, if you didn't have any excess air, what carbon monoxide will be put out by this system? So that, that that's a good indicator of how well my burn is, how well the device is actually burning. But the problem is we're introducing too much excess air, and what that's going to do is that's going to cause the the flue gases to move very fast through the heat exchanger, and uh, we're going to lessen our contact time. And when we lessen the contact time, you can see we're getting 444 on my stack temperature, my net stack temperature. That puts my gross over 500, which is a little too high. It's too high for, that's another warning, so that's another sign saying, hey, you know, you have too much excess air. We want to try to get that excess air down. Remember, we want to get our excess air down to the point uh, as minimal as possible so that we don't have these values. So again, let's just run through our values real quick. We'll go through them all again. Um, what we have on here is, you can see, we'll start at the top. O2 is 14.9% too high. We'd like to see that come down 10, 12, somewhere in there. Uh, CO, 11 parts per million. That's not really telling us too much. That's the carbon monoxide with all that extra, all the extra air. So it's not it's diluted in there. Uh, the efficiency, that is the steady state efficiency. That is the efficiency, that's our on cycle efficiency. So that's saying while this unit's running, how efficient is it at getting the heat energy for, uh, out of the heat exchanger into the air and how much are we losing up the flue pipe so we're getting 71.8 percent of our energy we're getting into the airstream the rest of it is being blown up the flue pipe which is not good that's not good at all co2 is really low at 4.5 again co2 should modern oil fired equipment your co2 should be running 12 percent 10 percent remember oil has a maximum co2 of 15.3 percent so uh you, we should be running somewhere around normal, you know, a, a good running oil furnace with a proper amount of excess air should have CO2s around 12%, hopefully 13 if we're lucky, you know, or not lucky, but if we, everything's running well. Um, and we come down through here, uh, our stack temperature again, this is our net stack, and that's a little high, 444, that puts it over 500 on the gross stack. Uh, it's too high, too much heat energy is going up. Again, my excess air is way too high. It's 231%, 232%. And again, COO, that is the, that's an actual carbon monoxide that we're actually creating and you take out the excess air. So that's good, 40 is good. Uh, if the appliance was doing 100 on the COO, that's a warning sign. Or over 100 means, uh, especially for oil and your regular gas furnaces and stuff, 100 is high. 100 means uh, we could have a problem with the firing or uh, an issue going on. So again, that's using the Insight, and I'm on hold, it's just sitting here. This is the back rack Insight.